Hey everybody, it's JJ. So right now what I've got for you is uh, kind of a cool little project I'm going to do. Um, going to um, make a kind of a DIY uh, sleeping bag bivy. So what this is, this is a big piece of Tyvek uh, house wrap, essentially. And uh, I got it off of Craigslist. A guy was selling it, you know, by the foot. And it's 9 feet wide and 20 feet long. So I'm going to trim some of that down for uh, to be the right size for a shelter piece. And then the remaining part of it is I'm going to use for a uh, kind of a DIY bivy. Now, a lot of you guys, if you're not familiar with what Tyvek is, it's a, it's a waterproof but yet um, still breathable uh, material. And... They use it in construction to go around houses and stuff like that. But I first uh, became aware of Tyvek in the survival school. And um, we used Tyvek material uh, to put maps on. They were called evasion charts. And they would go into survival vests and survival kits and things like that. And um, they were really good uh, to have um, because they were very durable and they were waterproof and so you could use them for a lot of different things. One of the big problems with them though, as you can hear, is they're just, it's kind of noisy when you first get them, you know. So there is a process that you can go through. You can uh, basically take that and wash it with no detergent a couple times um, and that will actually help quiet it down a little bit so it's a lot more softer and more flexible and usable. So I'll show you all that uh, as well. So anyhow, let's go ahead and uh, start cutting this up and get our projects ready to go. Okay, so what I've done now is I have laid the Tyvek down out here in my basement. And I went ahead and got a sleeping bag and I laid it out there. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over. And then I want to leave about five inches or so, you know, on each side so that there's plenty of room once you get somebody inside the bag, you know, that there's still going to be plenty of room in there because you don't want it to be too tight. So leave a little bit of excess. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this over. You notice how noisy it is. That's why you want to wash it. So, give myself a good, you know, five inches or so on that side, and that should be plenty. And then I'll just measure up real quick on both sides of the tape measure and cut that across real quick. We'll be right back. Okay, so I laid it out, and I went ahead and measured out to where I marked it over in that corner. And that turned out to be about five foot and eight inches for me. And that'll be plenty of, uh, plenty of space. It's not going to be tight or anything like that, and it should work out good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut across where I made those marks and then that'll be ready to go and then it'll be time to uh, go ahead and put it in the washing machine. Now, all right, so we got the Tyvek down inside the washing machine. All we're doing is to, it's going to wash it on a cold uh, setting, cold water setting and we'll probably run it through uh, at least two times, maybe even three to soften it up. Okay, so after we soaked it in water, put it through uh, two or three um, cycles on the washing machine, we went from this, that is extremely loud and annoying, to this, which is much more soft and pliable and all that kind of stuff. So now the next step is going to be to take some uh, double-sided carpet type tape, and I think I paid, I don't know, six or seven bucks for this at least and it'll be more than enough to finish this project up and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to tape this seam and then I'm going to tape it up the other edge to kind of enclose the uh, the baby sack and probably only going to do like uh, you know one foot strips of this at a time just to make it easier to handle so tape off here and and this doesn't have to be an exact science but you do want to try to get it fairly straight
pull that tight a little bit. And then lay it down. And then I'll keep going until this is all the way around. And then I'll get back with you here in just a second. Okay, so now I have got this whole edge. This is the bottom edge uh, taped all the way across. Then I have taped up about um, 55 inches or so on this uh, lengthways side. And now what I did here is, I'm going to come down here so you can see this, is once the tape ran out at the end of where, where my two-sided carpet tape was, I stopped and I taped um, two sides of the Tyvek with some Gorilla duct tape and I did that on both sides. Then I put a longer strip around here, a small piece right here, and another small piece on the inside right here. And the reason is this is where you're basically going to have your opening so you can get in and out of it. And so you want this. You don't want this, if you if you didn't put the tape here, then every time you get in and out, the two-sided carpet tape is going to try to rip up. You know, you're just going to continue to rip that. So with this tape here like this, this will strengthen it and uh, make it last, you know, considerably longer. So I may add some, some more reinforcement to this. Um, you might even be able to uh, take and do some real quick stitching or something along those lines uh, here in this area to help. Uh, to keep that closed so okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess on the top side because uh, if you guys remember this was uh, longer it was like uh, nine feet wide so I'm going to have some excess on the top but then I'm going to leave the excess on the bottom I'm going to fold that over and encase that in to make a uh, built-in pillow so I'll show you what that's like here in just a second okay so here we've got the bivy laid out and as you can see, this is the uh, kind of the seam area here where it will fold out to allow you to get out, you know, of your bag a little easier. And then I've cut the top off. You can see that over here. And this section, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fold this over and I'm going to seal that side and down along this edge. And then I'm going to leave this side open down here. And then you can, that'll be an area where I can just stuff in um, extra clothing, you know, a shirt, a pair of pants, something like that to use as a pillow. And then that'll be it. It'll be all finished up. So let's do that and I'll uh, show you what that looks like. Okay, so we've got the Tyvek bivy bag all finished up. I did add a little bit of uh, just uh, Gorilla Tape reinforcement on that corner. And then... I finished up the pillow area, just like I told you. And then right here, I went ahead and put in some more reinforcement there, just so that uh, that wouldn't tear, tear very easily. And then um, just took the uh, double-sided carpet tape all the way across here, put a little reinforcement here as well. And then I've got the opening here where I can just stuff in some clothing or whatever for a pillow, you know, um, just basically right where the head lays on the sleeping bag. And this is a standard size North Face sleeping bag. I've got kind of an access area here, make it a little bit easier to get in and out of. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a it's a full size bivy, and it's uh, lightweight and fairly inexpensive. I mean, um, for all the Tyvek. That I got was uh, 20 feet. I want to say it was 20 feet long. I think I paid uh, forty dollars for a nine by twenty section. Or maybe that was a nine by. I don't know. Anyway, um, and then I paid uh, six or seven dollars for the double sided tape, and um, then I paid um, a few bucks for the Gorilla tape. So you know. All in all, I mean, just with the bivy, probably got under $30 um, in materials. Actually, definitely under $30, probably about $20 in materials for a uh, waterproof and breathable 
bivy sack. All right, so if you guys were curious as to what size this thing will pack down to, uh, this will give you a good idea. Um, this is the, the entire bivy, um, and you know, it's about hand size, maybe a little bigger, and maybe an inch thick. So you could even, you could even fold that in half if you wanted to, you know, and get it down to even less. So, and it, and it probably weighs, I don't know, maybe a quarter of a pound. I don't think it weighs even a half pound if I had to guess, but I don't know for sure. So anyway, that's how small it gets down to. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked it. And uh, if you've got any suggestions for improvements on this design, I would definitely be interested in hearing on them. Hearing them. Um, this is the first time I've made a bivy with Tyvek. I've used it a lot for shelter pieces and stuff like that uh, at the survival school, and I know it's a good material, but uh, making it strong enough and all that kind of stuff would be where I'll have to put this to some field testing to see how it's going to work out. So anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Thank you.